Manchester, New Hampshire, Pete Buttigieg is definitely not lowering expectations in New Hampshire. After claiming victory in Iowa and shocking the political world by essentially tying Democratic presidential nomination rival Senator Bernie Sanders of Vermont in the caucuses even before the delayed results started trickling out, the former mayor of South Bend, Indiana, says he is aiming to go two for two in the state that holds the first primary in the White House race. And if he does, the youngest candidate in the Democratic field who, if elected, would become the nation's first openly gay president, would upend the nomination race and raise serious doubts about former Vice President Joe Biden's ability to bounce back from two early setbacks. While who actually won in Iowa is still in dispute, both Buttigieg and Sanders are claiming victory. An emboldened Buttigieg told Fox News Pete Douche after Friday night's Democratic presidential nomination debate that we're definitely in it to win it in New Hampshire. Buttigieg is a close second to Sanders in two of the three latest polls of likely Democratic presidential primary voters in the Granite State, a University of New Hampshire survey for CNN that was released Saturday afternoon and an NBC News Marist survey released Friday evening. And Buttigieg edged past Sanders on Friday night in a daily tracking poll by Suffolk University for the Boston Globe and WBZ TV. Senior Sanders adviser Jeff Weaver downplayed the Buttigieg rise in the polls, telling Fox News, he keeps moving up because he overperformed in Iowa. We won there, but everybody thought we were going to win there, so you don't get the same kind of bump. This is typical 48 hours after the thing, you get a bump. The question is can you sustain until the next election? That's what we'll see on Tuesday. I think not.